Hi everyone, Caroline here. Have you ever liked or not liked someone based on the sound of their voice? You know your voice reveals a lot. So what does your voice say about you? If someone who has never met you before was listening to the sound of your voice, what would they imagine about you? What would your voice reveal about you? Just think about it. What do other people's voices tell you about those people? Well, today I want to share with you a few things about why the voice is very important or rather why you should be paying more attention to aligning and healing your voice because your voice matters, especially in these times where a lot of discernment is required because there's so much distortion out there. There's so many other things going on that requires all of us conscious beings, all of us awakened beings to just use this voice of love and higher consciousness to to bring things in perspective. So that means all our collective voices must be together to allow this energy of expression, of love, of consciousness to come forward. You know, we all got to play our parts and there's no accident and every means of communication, every means of expression is not an accident. There's a reason why we have this ability to influence others through the sounds of our voices, to change lives through the sounds of our voices. There's is no accident. Creation is perfect and every instrument is a tool for higher consciousness and evolution. Anywho, the first thing is this. Your voice is unique and it symbolizes how you communicate, how you speak, how you sing, how you shout is unique to you. And when someone listens to your voice or rather when you listen to someone's voice, even just by listening to my voice right now, you can tell a lot of things. Your voice can reveal all those subtle nuances, the subtle tonalities of when someone's voice goes high or low. You can usually tell a lot of things and then figure out, oh my gosh, this person's voice is rising or it's going low, so I need to kind of adjust myself to meet the situation or to, you know, somehow fit into this equation or maybe disrupt the situation depending on what it is that you want to do. You know what I mean? You can always tell by someone's voice how things are going. And when things are not going good, based on someone's voice, you can also always tell, right? <laughs> I like when I notice those kinds of things or when people notice those kinds of things about me and I'm like, oh my gosh, sometimes you try to explain it, but the truth of the matter is the vibration sometimes just never lies. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So your voice speaks and it can reveal a lot about your conscious or unconscious intentions, your motivation, your mood, whether you're happy, sad, joyful, angry, lying, or what your mood is in that current moment, even if you might might be pretending that you're happy, you know what I mean? Then your voice will come across and someone will decide, oh my gosh, this person is not happy at all. This person is pissed, so I need to get out of here. You know what I mean? So your voice reveals your true personality or rather it can reveal your true feeling, your true essence in the moment. You know what I mean? This is a vibrational thing. And maybe you know how sometimes it is when you're talking to someone and you just know they're lying. Oh my gosh, you can just tell from the sound of their voice. You don't even have to see them. Sometimes if you're keen, you can tell from someone's voice that they're lying to you. And a lot of us, you know, are able to exercise discernment based on that noticing alone. So it's always so crazy to notice some of these things, but it's such a helpful tool if you pay attention because it can take you out of a lot of big, big jams. You know what I mean? Okay, the second thing is that your voice is also your identity. The sound of your voice is how you are identified. It is how you are known. It is how you are located. It is a large part of your vibration. It is a large part of who you are. And those who know your voice can't confuse your voice with someone else's. You know what I mean? Those who know my voice can't confuse Caroline's voice with someone else's voice. Unless you know what I mean? Like, what is the matter with you? Because my voice is my voice. The sound of my voice is unique to me. The sound of your voice is unique to you. It is your essence. It comes from deep within you. Which brings me to the third point, which is your voice is a multidimensional instrument because you are a multidimensional being and your sound transcends dimensions. It's been with you as an energetic vibration, as an energetic frequency for eons of lifetimes. And it is here as a continuation of who you are, of who you've always been and who you are continuing to evolve into as you carry on through the lifetimes here and now and ahead. 
So your voice is pretty special and the quality of the vibration of your voice can reveal so much about the depth of your soul, the purity of your soul. And let me tell you something. There was a time a long time ago when I was working with a shaman and this shaman had the most delightful voice ever. You know, I was going through a lot of things at that time. I was like in a dark, dark, dark place. And there was just something so special about this woman's voice that really sort of brought some kind of healing to me because I had never heard such sweetness in someone's voice. Or rather, I'd never really paid attention to the quality of people's voices. That woman had this voice that just made me think, oh my gosh, is this an angel or what? That woman had such an amazing healing voice. And I'm really glad that she took up the healing profession in whatever capacity she was doing it or whatever. Because that voice was a godsend for someone like me who at that particular time was going through hell. You know what I mean? <laughs> I tell you, lives transform and you never know what can transform you. Maybe your voice is that type of voice that can really bring healing to someone else for whatever reason. You know, some people's voices. <laughs> Man, if you hear that voice, uh, you have better run in the other direction. But Anyway, that woman was amazing. So I trust that, you know, your voice has a vibration or a frequency that can really be uplifting and healing to someone else. You know what I mean? That's what we want. We don't want to be talking to people and then, you know, have those voices just like, you know, cause us to really, really run for black tumalins and whatnot. <laughs> you know? Okay. Anyway, so that was that. So the other thing about the sound of your voice and why you should pay attention to aligning and healing your voice is that your voice can cause a resonance with other people. And when you speak, your voice can cause others to start vibrating to the frequency of your energy. People start resonating with you because your voice transmits energy through resonance. And that is why sometimes you can identify with someone else's voice. When someone is speaking, you can either identify with the truth that they're communicating through the sound of their voice or just through through energetic resonance with your voice, you're more liable to listening to what the person is saying or to be able to connect to the energies of what that transmission is that is coming through because you identify with the sound of that voice on some level through resonance. And that is why you will notice that there are some people whose voices you can listen to and there are other people whose voices you cannot stand. And the moment you hear those voices, you're just like, oh my God, oh my God. If the person is on TV, you're like, Turn that TV off right now because you can't just stand it. And you can feel, you know, those emotions rising, you know, up within you when you hear the voices of some of these people. I know certain people that, oh my gosh, the moment I just hear their voice, I just want to, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's that bad. You know what I mean? So there are certain people who are like that. And then also there are certain people when they hear their voices and it doesn't even matter what the person is saying. The person could be talking total BS all day long. But I'll hear that person. I'll listen to that person. I'll be inspired by that person. I'll feel peaceful in the presence of the sound of that person's voice. I'm sure you know what I mean. Let me know in the comment section. Do you know certain people whose voices are like, oh my gosh, let's not even go there? And do you know certain people whose voices are like, wow, okay, I don't even care what's being said right now, but I want to listen to that person. I want to be under the sound of that voice and I don't care. I'll make all the time in the world to just listen to that person. And hopefully the person is transmitting things that are helpful to you. Because another thing I'm noticing a lot, which is really nothing related to this subject matter, but the thing I'm noticing is that there's so many, many, many people out there talking about all sorts of things. And after you've listened to some of these people and Unfortunately or fortunately, maybe even I'm one of them, so I'm not excluded from this group. The thing is, after you've listened to these people talking about all sorts of things, there's really nothing you heard. There's really nothing they taught. There's really nothing you learned. There's nothing, man. This is a whole distraction. This whole talking, talking business, while I endorse it, I support it, I talk about it, and I really want to encourage all of us to really put our voices out there. Man, have something to offer, have something to share, have something to give as a tool or something, you know what I mean? Just even your truth, even your story, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be, you know, all these, oh my gosh, you know what I mean? Just share something that will help other people. This is what I'm saying. Don't be a copycat. Stand in your unique truth. Share your unique experiences. You know what I mean? Share what you think can help other people. Share your story. 
you know don't make it complicated it could be about anything but just don't be afraid to speak out there maybe i'm wrong and i could be wrong you know sometimes i think that maybe i need to get some value from certain conversations that i listen to but i don't know it's maybe it's just me <laughs> Man, I sit there sometimes and I listen to people and I'm like, oh my gosh, mm, what are people really talking about? It's just, you know, a lot of talk, 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 but what, you know what I mean? There's just nothing, 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 nothing. <laughs> it's unfortunate. So be very careful also how you spend your time. Maybe, you know, use some discernment on who's actually sharing truth. You know, you know, the sounds of people's voices can really tell a lot. You can tell a lot about people. You can tell a lot about vibration. We have to use discernment. Man, there's a lot of things being said out there. There's so many types of things going on out there. We gotta be on top of our business and our business is transformation, consciousness, lifting and raising and evolution, man. If your life is not changing, just stop whatever it is that you're doing and just try to adopt something else that's helping you evolve and feel happier and better and enjoy your life. Okay, that was neither here nor there. Back to the subject matter. And the subject matter is your voice matters. It is unique. It expresses your identity. It's the way you communicate. It is a tool that you can use in this now, in this present moment, in this lifetime, make sure it's aligned and balanced. Make sure your throat chakra is aligned and balanced. Use your crystals. My favorite crystals this day really is black tourmaline for my throat chakra based on my own personal issues. And I've shared about that in previous videos, but you can use any blue colored throat chakra crystal or any crystal that resonates with you. The key thing here is that you have to have that experience in how things work for you. Of course, there are general things that are said out there, but you have to have a personal experience about what crystals to use in what particular way because when you have these crystals you also have to pay attention to them and that crystal that is not blue colored or is not generally considered a throat chakra crystal might be calling to you to help you work with some throat chakra issues and with that said and now that i'm thinking about it i might just make a video about balanced throat chakras and how you can tell your throat chakra is out of balance i'm just going to introduce a few new things that can really help you understand when your throat chakra is out out of balance or when it's balanced and what not maybe i will maybe i won't it depends on how a lot of things go you know sometimes you want to make a video on something or i want to talk about certain subject matters but when i speak about these subject matters there is no interest generally and when the interest is not there oh my gosh you know the views tank my channel tanks and everything goes down and so it's just not worth it but i know that there are certain people who really appreciate deeper content and because of that i thank you so much for your support i thank you for participating with me and interacting and engaging with me on YouTube and outside of YouTube. I love you guys so, so much. And let's just keep growing and blowing and evolving and changing our lives together. Okay. Until next time, use your voice. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Embrace everything about you and share your light.